Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. We need to learn about what an enantiomer is. So, uh, when you're dealing with different um, cases of stereochemistry and molecules that have stereocenters, we have this special terminology to, to discuss these specific types of compounds. Now, when you deal with stereoisomers, you're dealing with molecules that have the same molecular formula, they have the same connectivity between the atoms, but they're geometrically attached differently. And there are two types of stereoisomers. One of those types is called an enantiomer. So repeat that after me. Enantiomer, enantiomer. Say it again, enantiomer, enantiomer. Okay, so that's how we pronounce this term. It's a weird word, enantiomer. Now, the rules for an enantiomer. The two molecules you're comparing, for them to be enantiomers of each other, that type of stereoisomer, they need to be non-superimposable. So non-superimposable, non-superimposable sounds really fancy, but really what it means is they are not the same. They are not identical. So if you're comparing things and they're the same, we, they're not any kind of isomers. They're just, they're just the same molecule. But to, they have to be different. They're non-superimposable. Furthermore, they need to be mirror images of each other. So if we look at our two structures that we have drawn, one is the R. If this R structure were to look through the mirror, the bromine would be a reflected into that bromine. And then further away, the chlorine would be reflected into the chlorine and iodine, iodine, hydrogen, hydrogen. So these are mirror images of each other. They actually have opposite configurations. One has the R configuration, the other has the S configuration. Now, to draw an enantiomer or to invert a stereocenter, we already know how to do that. We simply swap two groups. Well, that's exactly what we did with our mirror. The bromine now sits where the chlorine used to be, and the chlorine sits where the bromine used to be. So we swap two groups. We could also draw this a little bit differently. Let's go back to our R structure. and let's exchange the hydrogen and the iodine. This should also have the S configuration because we started from the R and we swapped two groups. So these are enantiomers of each other. These are enantiomers of each other. What's the relationship between these two? They're the same. They, they're actually, they're, they're superimposable. They are identical. So these are just the same structure. We've just redrawn it with a different perspective. Now there's a shortcut. If you have a molecule that is a chiral molecule, it contains a stereocenter. There's a shortcut to drawing the enantiomer. You simply reverse all the stereocenters. And all is important. If you have multiple stereocenters, you have to invert every one of them. So how do we do that? We, well, we change the R stereocenter to S and any S stereocenter to R. And how do we do that? We, we simply swap two groups on that stereocenter, and that will reverse or invert the stereocenter. And that will give us a new chiral molecule. What will be the relationship between these two chiral molecules? Well, they're going to be stereoisomers. Specifically, they will be enantiomers. So enantiomers are simply two stereoisomers that are non-superimposable mirror images, and they will have opposite configurations at all their stereocenters.